Hey everyone, it's Linnea. I'm going to be using some fun Ink on 3 products to create a rainbow striped watercolor background with a white flower on top. This is one of my favorite color combinations. I love a rainbow background with a big white flower. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be watercoloring with Atelier, Atelier Ink Re-Inkers. Now, I originally started by smushing down the ink pads on my work surface, and you can kind of see that there but I wanted the color to be even more intense. So I switched to adding a drop or two drops of the Atelier Ink Reinkers on my work surface and look at the color that I'm getting with those reinkers. So intense and so vibrant. I just have, I believe that it is a half inch flat watercolor brush. I put down some of those reinkers onto my work surface. And I'm just using a little bit of water, not a lot, because like I said, I really want this color to be vibrant and intense, so I'm not using a lot of water. And I am just doing the best I can to create a flat, straight line. Now, you could definitely mask if you wanted to, but I am the first to admit that I'm a lazy crafter, so I did not want to go through all the masking, so I decided to just take my chances, and you're going to see some of my stripes are not perfect. Some of them are wavy at the bottom or at the top. Some of them are thicker. Some of them are thinner. It doesn't matter because I like to have that whimsy feel to the background. So I'm just going to keep on alternating and going through the colors of the rainbow until I have my background all done. Now once I was done, I wanted to bring some sparkle and shine into this background. So I have some liquid pixie dust in a fine tip watercolor brush. It would have been a whole lot easier if I had thought about it to add a drop of the pixie, the liquid pixie dust to my actual uh, watercolor pools that were on my work surface, but I didn't think about it, so I just went through after my stripes were dry and added that liquid pixie dust right on top. So my stamping today is from the Posies stamp set. I fell in love with the stamp set because of this pitcher vase and then the flowers with the long stem. I absolutely love it. So I am using the blackout detail ink to do my stamping and I'm just pulling out images from the Posy stamp set and I'm going to stamp them down onto some Nina cardstock so I can do some Copic coloring. I definitely could have masked these images off but I decided to take my chances and just kind of roll with it. So I stamped that little pitcher vase first and now I'm going to come in with the stem and stamp that right over the top. And you're going to see that the vase line at the top there, it kind of cuts through the stem. It's okay. It doesn't bother me really. And then I'm going to clean these stamps. To clean them, I'm using the Ink Off Stamp Cleaner and the Ink Off Cloth. Just kind of stamping that stamp pad on top of my stamp and then wiping that ink away. And I will stamp this large posy right on top. Look at that. Doesn't it just come together so easily? And it's so pretty. So now I'm going to do some alcohol ink marker coloring with my Copics. I quickly showed you the markers I'm going to be using. I do have a still photo over on the Ink on 3 blog. And I'm going to do my best to leave the marker caps right up in that corner of the screen so that you can see them as I color. I... Don't use a lot of special blending techniques. So for this vase, I'm just going with BG10 and just outlining the vase and then also going along wherever there are those detail lines. And just to give a little bit of that water feel to it. But I didn't want to actually color the whole thing in. I wanted it to be a clear glass vase with just that hint of color. I'm using a couple greens for my stems. And then for the flower, I am a sucker for yellow flowers and white flowers. And whenever I have a rainbow background, I will throw a white flower on there and I just think that it's wonderful. So I'm going to be using my neutral gray Copic markers. I used a little bit of N4 for the center of this flower. Then I'm going to go around. I have N2 now. And I'm just going to fill in the outside edges of these petals where those the detail lines are already in this flower. So the hard work is already done. I don't have to worry about really knowing where to put my shading because it's already there. 
Once I have those edges darkened, I'm gonna come in with N0, and I'm just going to go around the petal where the petal is going to meet that center of the flower and just add a bit of highlighting with my lightest gray marker, and that is going to make the flower appear white even though I colored it with grays. Look at that, isn't it pretty? I love it. So I used my scissors and I trimmed that out. And now I have a sentiment from the Posy stamp set. I'm going to line this up in the middle of that green watercolor stripe. No reason I picked green, just I thought that it balanced out the card. I'm using the blackout detail ink. I'm stamping on watercolor cardstock. So I did stamp this three times just to make sure it was nice and dark and even. Added some more liquid pixie dust to the flower and that finishes my card. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.